All right, look, last video, we started out our first year at ULM. We started two and 10. It's not a good look at all, but we have help coming, ladies and gentlemen, we have help coming. We are gonna turn around the program in this video and hopefully win a national championship at the end. We have a lot of three stars that are verbally committed to the program. We're gonna make slow progress. Like Brian Lieber, he's gonna be the next QB. Field general quarterback, three star out of Houston, Texas. We had Ma Fu Chen, you know what I mean? The center, the Chinese center. Cedric Dora, another center as well. We're going to see if we can look to move one of these guys to guard. Toledo from Juco. He's a strong safety. He's a run support kind of guy from Dallas, Texas. And Stephen Boyd, our deep threat wide receiver, also from Texas. 5'9", deep threat. Those are like the highlights of our recruitment. We also have a tight end here, Chris Swain. And we're still in the running for a bunch of these guys down here. Let's sim to national signing day right here. Get our players in the building. We're like a half star team. I want you guys to keep that in mind. We're not supposed to be good, okay? So... This is gonna take a long time, but we're gonna make it happen, all right? Brian Lieber has signed to ULM. Our first quarterback right there. Look at all these signings. We also got Lamont Reynold, a three-star running back. Okay, we end up getting Don Fulkerts right now, ATH. I still don't know what that is, but it says Scrambler, so maybe he's a quarterback. Might have a QB battle at ULM. Steven Brutus has signed with ULM. Our second wide receiver right here. This guy's a gem too. I'm expecting big things out of him. Maybe he can turn the program around. I don't know if we'll be able to win a national championship in the next four years but this is gonna be the foundation for how we recruit four stars five stars in the future why does my hair look like this i'm rounding out my recruitment game here i pretty much unlocked the max recruiting stats for passing game qbs defensive line blocking and receiving game i think i'm gonna target the secondary next all right in my opinion these are the most important positions with football fields so we gotta make sure we get these positions intact before we become a great football program all right it is a new year and look at that we are at a 79 overall. Oh my God, 79 offense, 80 defense, just in one year. We've gone up by 10 overalls. Wait, that can't be right. Hold on, wait, let me take a look at my roster. Are we in the preseason top 25? No, we're not, okay. Let me not get too ahead of myself, all right? Oh my God though, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take a look at the team. Let's see what the recruits have us at. Okay, so quarterback, we're not strong. Ryan Lieber is a 66. We have a redshirt junior here, Aiden Armenta. Yeah, this needs to be better. Our other guy, Fulkerts, is actually a 71. So this is the athlete that we were scouting from Opelousa, Louisiana. Right-handed quarterback, Dom Fulkerts. That's a white-ass name. He does not look like a white guy. But he's got 95 speed. Oh my, wait, hold on. I might make this guy my starter. 95 speed, 94 excel. Dude, this guy, this is literally Indian Cam Newton. Like his accuracy needs some work, but if we start him from day one, maybe he'll grow? You know what? Nah, man, I'm not getting Fulkerts at the QB position. Hunter Smith, our senior. Here we go, 81 overall. I think this is like the first skill position player that I've had over 80 overall. We've definitely made some progress there. Lamont Renault, this is our uh, freshman running back. The 69 overall, you know what? I'm just gonna move him up the depth chart. I'm gonna move him to the third running back. You know what I mean? Give him some snaps. I don't know if I leave him down there, if that'll make him a red shirt. Maybe that'll leave him a red shirt, make him grow from practices. But we'll, we'll, we'll put him there for now just to see. Our senior Tyler Griffin is our best wide receiver, but our boy Steven Brutus is a 69. Okay, we'll start him at wide receiver five. We'll see if he can make his way up this depth chart right here. Tight ends, Darius Bailey, our seniors leading us, but Chris Swain is right behind him, 65 freshman tight end. I like him, man. The O-line should look a lot better this year. Uh, last year, we only had a left guard. Already, we're starting off left tackle with a 76 overall player. That's just already better than what we had last year, I'm pretty sure. Left guard here's our best player elijah fisher 87 left guard he's out there you know what i'm saying he's out there blocking i like it man at the center spot our boy cedric dora this is our uh oh he's a sophomore should be a freshman no or maybe i, I got him off transfer where's my boy mafu chen mafu chen is here okay he's a 62 right guard 79 right tackle 75 okay so we have a it's better. It's there's progress. We have a redshirt freshman Sam Reeves here at right end or left end. He's a left end. He's got some potential there. Oh my god, Jaden Hamlet, senior defensive tackle, 85. But we have nobody paired next to him. Like literally, it's him and then there's a hole. Hold on, bro. I got to move this this wear guy up, up to D tackle. He's 73 at least. We might have to focus on D line for recruiting this year. Left outside linebacker still 77. Right outside linebacker or middle linebacker. We need a middle linebacker for sure. We this. Is very important. I think linebackers and D tackles is going to be our focus this year. Obviously, we're still going to focus on, you know, quarterback and all those positions that we have to focus on every year. But at the same time, 
ULM is looking a lot better, man. Where's my right outside linebacker prospect? I, I swear it should be down here somewhere. Here he is, Seth Tompkins, 66 overall. Okay, he might be a redshirt player as well. I mean, he's not far off from our third guy. 69 overall, Kelby Holmes, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave him how it is. Let the coach do his thing. We have better corners this year, man. Godsey, Harris got two 80 overall corners. The team definitely looks a lot better this year. More equipped for, you know, more than a two-win season at least. I feel like we need to change our offensive playbook low-key too. How can I do that? Here we go. Scheme and playbook because, you know, now I got to adjust. Maybe like an Auburn or somebody. All right, we'll try Auburn's offense for a year here. Let's go visit the guys that want to be here. You know what I mean? The guys that are in Louisiana, the guys that are in Texas, the guys that are nearby. Let's go to the classrooms. You know what I'm saying? Let's go in their house. Let's, let's sleep on their floor for a night, you know? Cook with the family. You know what I mean? Get it going. Get some gumbo. Bring some gumbo over. I feel like I recruited well my first year. You know what I mean? By, you know, linking up with Zion and Brandon Ingram and, you know, Drew Brees and all that. I feel like that's good. And, you know, being the first coach to offer all of these four stars and five stars a scholarship. I think I'll post it on their IG story. You know what I mean? Flexing it. ULM. First offer received. And it's going to be me. We're just going to offer all of these guys a scholarship right there. I'm not even looking at position right now. I just want the highest ranked players and see which one of them are actually, you know, interested in your boy. Interested in playing for the Chinese head coach. Too. And actually, we can manage our red shirts here. And I, you know what? I'm just going to red shirt my lowest ranked freshmen that I recruited from the previous year. So Thompson, I'm going to redshirt him. Mafu Chen, I'm going to redshirt. Didn't know he was going to be 55. I'm also going to redshirt Brian Lieber, our quarterback, because I think this is going to be the other quarterbacks year this year. You know what? I'm going to redshirt him too. Okay, we're going to redshirt four of our recruits from last year, our highest ranked recruits. Let's take a look at our schedule. Oh my God, we have Alabama. Why do we have Alabama on our schedule? What the hell? What are we gonna do in Tuscaloosa? What do you expect my team to do at Tuscaloosa? Oh my God, I just got dicked with the schedule, man. What is this, bro? Here we go, man. We won our week one game. We beat FCS East 24 to 16. We got Alabama. No, you know what? I gotta tune into this game, man. This is my first ever game against Alabama. If we can pull an upset against Alabama somehow, like the amount of recruits that are gonna come into ULM, like people watch this game, they probably have never heard of ULM. And this is one of those scenarios, if, if we keep the game close, the people on CBS are gonna start talking about the game. This is not a national televised game, but if we win this game, Zhu Hua Piao Piao's name is gonna be trending in China. We're gonna be on some WeChat moments, you feel me? So come on, let's see if we can pull the result here. Okay, oh, we're upset. 7-0. Oh god, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. It's 7-7 seven, seven at the end of first quarter. I will take that. Oh, it's 10-7. We're on the halftime. No way. Oh, we're down 14. No, 2010. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. They, they woke up. They woke up. They locked in. 20 to 10. 20 to 17. Can we do something? Can we do something? Oh, we lost 20 to 17. Oh, I wanted to jump in and watch. Oh, I, I didn't see what a button is for the sim, but we came so close. Oh my god. Bro, oh, we almost beat Alabama. You know what? The program is turning around already. We see some player stats right here, man. Folkerts, what a game, buddy. 335 yards and a touchdown. Folkerts, 23 yards on the ground. Okay, so we can't get any yards on the ground, but receiving Tristan Wiley. Whoa, whole type Tristan. My brother, who is this guy? Tristan Wiley, all right. 179 against Alabama. Hold on, wait, he's getting transfer requests. I cannot lose any of these guys. Okay, you know what? I'm happy with that. 20 to 17, I will take that. I'm gonna keep upgrading our DB recruiting here. We are midway through the year right now. We're three and five. We already got more wins than we did last year. This is a W. Not a bad year. Fulkerts is growing. He's making progress right here, ladies and gentlemen. He is making progress. Brutus. We're down there at 69. I don't really know how to fully grow these players yet. You guys gotta let me know that in the comments down below. All right, we're at the end of year two, and we stayed at three wins. What a terrible ending to our year, man. Let me take a look at what happened this year. So we beat FCS East. We come close against Alabama. We lose three straight. We lost, I mean, Troy just absolutely destroyed destroyed us there. We beat South Alabama, beat James Madison. We lose by seven to Nebraska. Oh my God. And then we just go on this losing skid to end off the year. So I mean, we made progress. We got one more win than last year, but honestly, it feels like kind of a loss. Cade Klubnik wins Heisman Trophy of the Year, quarterback for the Clemson Tigers. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I tried this auto scouting thing. This guy sucks. What the hell is he bringing in, man? What is all this? He's bringing in a whole bunch of one stars, man. What the hell? You know what? And as a coach, I feel like I need to improve myself, all right? The three and nine is unacceptable. We're gonna become a motivator. Bonus XP for QBs when QBs are drafted in the top three rounds? Yeah, that's never happening. Not for the meantime, but you know what? Well, we're gonna poach it purchase some of these. Let's just get the quarterback in here, man. First thing is first is the quarterback. And then we got to focus on the offensive line, man, because I think we're going to get a good draft pick out of our 87 left guard. You know, he's probably going to go pretty high in the NFL draft, I hope. My coordinators are all F. 
All right, that's that's awesome. That's just terrible. Let's see, did any, did any of your players get drafted? No players got drafted. Our left guard went undrafted. No way. Oh, he's still here. Oh, he went down a couple overall. All right, we're at national signing day here. We're getting some commitments from a bunch of one-star players. What is my scout doing? We're back down to 70 overall. Yeah, this is this is not good. We went up for one year and then we just we're just plummeting back down, bouncing back and forth, man. National signing day. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of one stars and two stars coming into the program, man. I don't know. I might have to manually scout, guys. I took this guy's advice and it didn't work out well. Maybe it'll get better over the next couple of years, but at the same time, I'm trying to make ULM a better team, man. We're only three and nine, two years in. We've only had five wins in two years. All right, here we go. Start of a new year here. We are now in 2026. This is year three. Let's take a look at our depth chart right now and let's see what we got here. So Brian Lieber, 73 overall. We low-key got a QB battle here between him and Dom Fulkert. Now he is an improviser here. This is the original three-star that we recruited. Reese Mooney's up here. I think I want to start Brian Lieber this year. Because Dom Fulkert, I mean, he did play well. He's in his sophomore year. You know, Lieber's in his freshman year. And he's already a higher overall than him. So we're going to go with Lieber this year. Bennett Galloway's our running back this year. Lamont Reynaud, we redshirted him. You know what? We're going to move him up to a running back too here. Let's see if we can develop some of these guys. Wide receiver review. Oh my God. Steven Brutus is an 82 overall. This is our three-star gem. And we also have Tristan Wiley. Remember this guy? This is the guy that went off against Alabama. Hold on. We might have a wide receiver group in the building. Wait a minute. My boy, boy. Maybe redshirting isn't the smartest plan to do. Maybe we just let him play, you know? But let me move him up the depth chart. I'm just gonna move up the wide receiver four. This is also a recruit that we had, but Brutus, man, he could be something special. Head ends, Chris Swain, my redshirt freshman. 75 overall tight end. Wait, I'm liking the base that we have here at ULM. 75, Cedric Dora. He's gonna be our center. Yeah. Oh, Mafu Chen, 71. He's right behind him. Uh, D tackles is looking really bad. Guys, I don't know if I could do this auto recruiting stuff. I need to recruit myself. This is really just not looking good, guys. This is not, not good at all. We're gonna do it ourselves this year, okay? I wanna see if this actually makes a difference because I've never played this game in my life. So I'm still testing stuff out too. I'm just gonna sort by the top ranked players in my pipeline here. I don't want one star and two star players and that seems to be what my scout is just bringing me back. You know, he was on the staff here at ULM before I came here, you know what I mean? And, and we got new standards coming in. We put up a game against Alabama, we can do anything, you know what I mean? I believe I can fly. I'm just gonna offer all of these guys a scholarship. Let's see what happens. Early in the season, this is where we get ahead on other teams. This is when we visit these prospects, start sliding money under the table, you know what I'm saying? Year three, let's see who we have on the schedule this year. Do we have an easier one? Okay, we have Purdue, that's ranked. We usually have one ranked opponent. Everyone else is pretty so the same. This is a pretty late schedule. Schedule. All right, yeah, so we're striking out on a bunch of these guys, man. I offered these guys all scholarships, and yeah, they're just not going for it, man. So, you know, we're still not there yet. It's pretty unrealistic to just shoot for these guys, to be honest. But honestly, if I could just get one of them, it could literally change the program around. All right, week one, Brian Lieber's debut. Jesus Christ, 42 to 7 against Mississippi State. Oh, that's just a bad start to the year. Look, man, I mean, we're in the top three here with a bunch of these kids right here. Tyree Biggs, we're number one on his list. Same with Anthony Osborne. So, so look. Look, we have a shot with some of these guys, man. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but these guys are, you know, some of these guys are interested in playing for a Chinese head coach. I'm telling you, it's something different that I'm offering to the table that other teams can't offer. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just simulating right now. Oh my God! Oh, yes! Yes! ULM, baby! Warhawks, baby. Tyree Biggs, right guard on Lakeland. You know what I'm saying? I like how he slid protection. Yeah, hey, Tyree, yeah. Yeah. Let's go, man. Four star right guard right there. Come on, now. Let's stop playing with a ball, now. We three and five in the year, now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me schedule a visit with this guy. Obada, running back. Come on, what, what do I want him to do? Come on. Playing time. You don't You don't want playing time? This guy does not, he's not interested in playing time? Okay, all right, family visit. We'll, we'll introduce you to the fact that, you know, you're, you're, you're close to home. And this guy's top five too you know what i'm saying let's just let's just send the house let's send the house towards him let's do it antonio money this guy's name is money hold the hell on oh my god we're number one on this list antonio money let's go man we ain't got no time to waste baby we ain't got no time to waste send the house baby javier ramirez hispanic quarterback come on come on estas that's my first four star that i've ever recruited man let's let's do some more recruiting i'm addicted oh i like it go go warhawks hey go warhawks go warhawks hey hey go warhawks what about that oh we got 72 south alabama can we beat them i mean let me watch the game oh, i want to see something you know what i mean i want to see brian lieber you know controlling the guys getting everybody in the huddle you know what i mean hey, 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 list 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 oh, i'm getting so excited right now hold on let me stand up i'm excited where are we are we in south alabama i thought we were at home my bad okay it's an away game south alabama fans are kind of going 
crazy. My first time watching this team, man. These are some of my recruits. You know what I mean? Some of the guys that I went to their houses. I went and saw their families. You know what I mean? I went and slept on their floor, ate their french fries. I brought gumbo to these guys' places. You know what I'm saying? And now they're playing for me on the field. I don't really think you guys realize how special, how crazy that is. That's... Take a look. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, you El Monroe. We are up 27 to 24. In the fourth quarter with three minutes left. Salabella with the ball. This is a terrible D-line. Oh my god. That was literally no pressure. We need a stop here in the red zone. South Alabama fakes the handoff. Again, just no pressure on the QBs. Take it off again. Ooh, we're closing in. Where do you think you're going? Throw it and four away, fans. I need to hear you, ULM. Warhawks, 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 Warhawks. Warhawks, 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 please get him. Yeah. <laughs> Stop playing with the boy. Field goal, can we block me? Field goal. Why am I turning Jamaica? No way to miss the field goal. Yeah, okay, 27 apiece. We have a chance to upset 7-2 and two South Alabama. Can we come up with special something special here on this kick return? That was the worst kick return I've ever seen in my life. But it's okay. Brian Lieber is in the building. My recruit. Bro, I literally came with Zion Williams and gave you gumbo, man. Come on. Put in a shift. Lieber. Look it. Lieber. What the hell? All right. He's got 205 and two touchdowns and interception for today, man. Brian Lieber, can he put together a drive to lead this comeback against South Alabama? Brian Lieber, looking near the sideline. Okay, nice throw. Third and six. Make a third and manageable. That's my boy Brutus. You know what I'm saying? Recruit to recruit. Come on, Lieber. Oh, we want a screen. Okay. Go. 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 That's a ULM first down. Yeah. Come on, Lieber. Come on, Lieber. Oh, my God. Where's the protection? Oh, my God. It's another screen. Is it all overrunning? Is that the auto offense? Okay, I like it. Lieber, the leader. Keep moving down the field, baby. Drop. Good protection. All right. This guy loves his checkdowns. Jesus. Checkdowns for loss of yards, too. 147 left. Second and 12. Oh, oh, oh. He's eyeing the mic. He's eyeing the mic. I like that. Brian. Brian. Going up the middle. Oh, he finds the tight end for a U. L. M. Oh my god. Why are we running? Hurry up. Hey, hey, relax. Relax, Brian. Brian. See, Brian doesn't know clock down situation. We, 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 we forget that Brian, he's still a freshman. You know what I'm saying? He really don't know, you know, the, 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 the other stuff that you need to be to be a great quarterback in the league. But he's making great throws. He makes another throw to our boys. I think that's Wiley. Timeout called by South Alabama. They feel the pressure. What a drive here by Brian Lieber. Oh my god. I can see the tide changing here at ULM. We are doing something special. Cutting outside. Running back. Oh! Oh, nice run. Injury timeout just stopped the clock. Are you kidding me? First and goal. Can we cash in? Running back. That's just terrible block. What the hell? Timeout called by South Alabama. This is good. We got to use all their timeouts. Lieber on the doorstep. Hand off. Oh, come on. Get in there. Oh, you're not trying to get in there. Touchdown. ULM. Jesus Christ. He had like seven different holes, man. There you go. Hey, 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 little baby. Hey, scouts are telling me that's the next Christian McCaffrey. You know what I'm saying? I have NFL scouts coming to our practices. Telling me that Galloway might be next. You feel me? Let's go, man. Great drive right there. Now we just need to stop. One minute and 10 seconds. South Alabama only with one timeout. Can we get an upset win here at South Alabama against seven and two team? Come on. Come on. Wide receiver screen. DBs. DBs. My DBs tackle. My DBs tackle. See, these are my DBs yet, guys. These are still, you know what I mean? The guys at ULM, these are, these are my DBs. My DBs aren't doing that. My DBs are tackling. My DBs are savages. My DBs are dogs. Matter of fact, my DBs, they made it out the hood. You know what I mean? My DBs, they made it out of the trenches. Oh my God, he was right next to you. Oh my God, how did he just do that? No, no, no. They spiked the ball. 51 seconds left. Second and 10. We need to stop. Come on. Come on, D-line. Okay, we're generating some pressure, though. Hold on, I might have to give my D-line coach a raise. What is happening? Third and ten. Everybody on their feet. ULM. Get out. Get him. No, no. Oh, you got to dive there, buddy. Crank him. Ah, fourth down. This is for game. We get a stop here. We win. Fourth and two. Clock is running. Drop back. Oh, Okay, but they've used all their timeouts. 26 seconds left. Keep them in front of you. Keep all of them in front of you. Do not let them go. Keep them in front of you. Yes, check down. We'll, we'll let a check down go. Oh, matter of fact, PBU. I love it. Great coverage. Man, I love how my boys are playing football right here, man. Can we get a record-setting fourth win in our season? Get that QB. Get him. What the hell? We're just, like, letting him, like escape i don't know how to explain it oh i need to change this d-line man we need new d-line recruits this is not good enough man third down and 10 can we finally get the stop to win the game out of bounds all right fourth down this might be an end zone shot with eight seconds left here this might be the final play of the game everybody back everybody back everybody back watch the deep ball watch the deep ball here it comes he's letting it fly please no 
<laughs> ULF victory formation. Ryan Lieber with the clutch. With that last drive right there, touchdown. UL Monroe comes to South Alabama and beats a 7-2 South Alabama team. What a game right there. That was electrifying. Yeah, player of the game, Benny Galloway. Hey, scouts, man, I'm telling you, man, this guy's the next Christian McCaffrey. Shout out my boy Bennett, man. Shout out my boy BG. Ryan Lieber, 269, two touchdowns. Bennett Galloway, 107 on the ground. I love to see it receiving. Wiley again, man. Big up my man Wiley. Putting in work. Chris Domain with some work, too. You know what I'm saying? I like this. It's what I'm talking about right here, ladies and gentlemen. ULM is turning its tie. We're at four wins now. And we end the year off four and eight. So we, we get another win improvement. We're, like, increasing by one win each year, which means if we're going to make the college football playoff we need to play at least 12 years of this and i'm not happy with that after that south alabama win we almost beat james madison we lose to troy again all right four and eight i guess we're making improvement okay we get a one-year contract deal you know since we've been here we've been two and ten three and nine and four and eight so we're on the hot seat draylon miller out of colorado wins freshman for or freshman Heisman Trophy winner for 2026 in year three. Once again, nobody gets drafted from ULM. Oh man, we're not sending anyone to the draft right now, man. This is not good. We are at the start of year four and Brian Lieber is an 81 overall quarterback. I think he's going to be our first like good quarterback that we've recruited. His stats have gotten so much better. He worked on his game in the off season. You know what I'm saying? I saw his work ethic since high school. I like what I'm seeing out of him. Running back right here, J.R. Westbrook is our starter. Lamont Reynold, he still needs another year. Hey, he's 76. 90 speed, 90 excel. Should I just start him? You know what? I'm just going to start. I want to make sure they grow. Oh! Oh my god steven brutus is an 88 overall wide receiver this is our gem receiver that we recruited in our first year 96 speed 94 catch yeah he's worked on his game 97 jump too and right behind him is steven boyd our other receiver so we're gonna start these two this is the first year that they're gonna get all the looks you know what i'm saying that's what i like to see chris swain is our starting tight end too i like what i see man the o-line is weak this year dora is gonna be our center here i wonder if mafu chen can play guard can i start him at left guard instead yeah you know what we're gonna our Mafu Chen at left guard because we have Dora at center who's our other recruit from our first year and right guard I'm gonna start my boy Biggs four-star player he's right guard he's here to play our edge rushers are looking a bit better for this year you know what I'm saying 85 and 82 but the interior is still weak uh linebackers we have my boy Seth Tompkins he was our recruit uh Michael Swanson is our middle linebacker this year Travis Blades but then we don't have a second corner I need to stop letting the computer recruit for me all right guys so I'm gonna lock in on recruiting this year because clearly that first year recruiting made a huge difference these guys just can't really recruit, man. These guys just keep recruiting one stars. Their standards are too low. So I'm going to be back on the recruiting for this year, guys. All right, I'm going to lock you in. I'm going to make sure this team has a chance. Okay, I'm going to do all this manually. I don't care. We're sending the house at these guys. You know what I'm saying? We need we need top heavy players. We need prospects. Trying to build a squad out here at ULM. You know what I'm saying? And we're already in their top fives. All right, week one of year four. Let's see if we can produce a result here against, I think, Western Michigan it is. We start out the year 1-0. and oh. Okay, this is a good start. Number one on June. Julius Clark's list. Oh my god, he's a five star. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I'm the best recruiter of the game, man. I'm the best recruiter in the game. Why am I putting it on my stupid scouts? These guys don't know what they're doing. These guys aren't me. You know what I mean? I'm me. I'm the one who knows Brandon Ingram. I know Jose Alvarado for guys like Bermudez. Oh, I'm not in this top 10. Never mind. But you know what I mean. Listen, with these top guys, man, you just got to send the house at them and you just got to pray. I don't know what else to do. Jimmy Massey, we're number one. He's a five star. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're moving up. We're moving up. We're moving up. Ladies and gentlemen, championship contender. We're at a D plus now. We're making progress. Slow progress is progress. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we play Tennessee. God damn it. All right. You know what? I, I want to see something. I want to see something. Here we go. 254 left in the game. We're down by eight. We have a chance here. Brian Lieber in a loud crowd. Great blocking by the line oh that is a ball oh did he not come down with it ah brutus gotta calm down with that one man tennessee your crowd is loud oh my god brian lieber i need a result oh, my whole line what a game play here by ulm man we just we have a chance boys d o line block oh he's taking off okay lieber get down get down i can't lose you okay fourth and one he's so close somehow keep the game alive here brian lieber puts his running back in motion lieber lieber what do you got lieber first down come on brian come on brian deep ball oh what a ball brian brian oh my god oh my god oh my god that is a big game he is playing his socks off block 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 boys oh my god he's going for it <laughs> 
Touchdown! You know what time it is. I don't know who the hell you are, but let's go. Can ULM pull off this upset? This would be absolutely amazing. Come on, we need the two-point conversion. Lieber, plenty of time. Lieber, going for it. Hi, game. Tennessee, yeah, nonsense. All right, we need to stop now. This is the problem. See, we don't really have a defense. This is gonna be an issue. Yeah, this is this is not gonna be good. This might be a tough watch. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but we, we can only pray. Oh God, who's their quarterback? I don't even want to know. It's probably some five-star dude. Come on, come on. Oh, pick it off. Oh my God. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I, I knew something like that was gonna happen. That, that's 10 seconds. It took him 10 seconds. Look at my coach. He's literally not doing anything. He's just standing there. Bro has no headset, no mic, no, no nothing. He's just there. He just came to watch. Oh, great effort, man. Great effort. We had them on their toes, man. Oh, we have these teams. We almost had Alabama. We almost had Tennessee, man. The SEC, they don't want to see a boy. Jorge Ferraro. Oh my God. See, this is what happens when you bring Jose Alvarado with you to recruit. Okay, send the house on this guy, man. I like this guy. We need a middle linebacker bad. See if we can win a game against Mississippi State here, man. Let's see. We just, let's break five wins this year, boys. Come on. Oh my God. What the hell? Sunbelt Defensive Player of the Week? Desmond Stevens. Shout out my baby about a dance. Hold on, hey, 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 hey. Get him some, get, get him an NL deal. Let's go, ULM. We're three and two this year. Much better start. I think I'm kind of getting a hang of this recruiting process. You know how I want to approach this? You know, we lose out on a bunch of these top guys. We lose out on Buck. Ah. Oh. Clark, is there anything else I can do with you? Can we schedule a visit? Yeah, let's schedule a visit. Come on, just play in week nine. Uh, what does he want? Campus lifestyle? No, no, no. Proximity to home. It's always proximity to home. That, that, that's really the only thing we have here. You're close to home. You know what I'm saying? So we'll schedule him in. We'll schedule a visit in week nine with you as well. Same thing, proximity to home. But look, guys, this is a big game. So Georgia State might not see like a big game to y'all, but we have recruits out in this week. Julius Clark, we've lost against OU here. He is in the building, though. I gotta do something here. You know what? I'm I, I I'm gonna soft sell. We have to soft sell him on being a hometown hero, man. This this has to be it. If we want to get this five star li left end here, now this four star linebacker, he is here in the building in week nine. Oh, we gotta win this game, man. They're in the building. Please! Yes! We get a commitment from Jorge Ferraro. Yeah, man. Jose Alvarado, man. I'm telling y'all, man. Jose Alvarado. He helped me out on this one, man. Oh, Julius Clark commits to Oklahoma, though. We lose out on our five-star left end. We lose, actually, against Georgia State. Ben Castaneda has also committed. We're getting some defensive help, boys. Another four-star player right there. Strong safety. We're getting some guys, but we're three and nine. Why? We started out three and two. What happened? Jesus, man. We regressed. We went backwards. Oh my god. Am I not playing this game right? What's happening? Christopher Vizine, another Clemson quarterback. Maybe I should use the Clemson playbook. Lost, 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 lost. Lo oh, we lost by six to South Alabama. Our punter wants to transfer. He doesn't like our playing style. But like, I don't understand this. How can you play a different playing style as a punter? How does that work? How do you do that? We got some dogs coming in, man. Jorge Ferraro, Castaneda leading the class. Devin Williams is a three-star. Harmon. Guys, I really focused in on defensive players this time. Berkser as well, another three-star. Rosa, a three-star corner. He's white, but it's okay. Look, we have some dogs, and we have a bunch of guys that were first on their list in. And we got some guys here from the portal, too. Hold on now. Jason Bass, scholarship. Him, add an action. House him. Could use a transfer freshman there. Transfer sophomore. Scholarship him. He's a tight end. Okay, okay. You know what? We can contact friends and family here. Don't really need a tight end, but a right end was much needed, man. Send the house towards him. Let's get it going, man. And I'm also going to send the house on some of these guys right here just to get some more commitments. You know what I'm saying? Send the house. Right outside linebacker here. You know what I mean? We need defense. That is our main thing. Defense. Obviously, we're going to always need quarterback. Brian Farrell. Send the house wide receiver. Yep. I kind of don't know what I'm doing still, but I hope. I'm doing it right. I'm trying to be as efficient with my time as possible, but at the same time, also picking up the guys that I need. So there you guys go. All right, let's see how many recruits we can pick up over the next course of time. Draft results. Anyone go to the draft? No, okay. We haven't sent anyone in the draft yet. We're four years in. I feel like I'm not doing the best job so far, but I'm learning on the spot, guys. I'm learning how to play this game on the spot. We get Dakota Harvey, quarterback in Louisiana. Yes, sir. Oh my God, Jeff Nix. Oh my God, 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 I'm insane, I'm insane, I'm insane. Three, three stars right there. Do we have more? Oh, I thought we had more. 
more. Look at this. We're number one on so many people's lists. Changing the culture here at ULM, man. I need to recruit. I need to do the recruiting, man. Got some visitors on campus. Brian Farrell has committed. Wide receiver. We get a right outside linebacker. Three star here. Another wide receiver. Chad Eason from Mississippi. Oh my god. I want a kicker. Oh, let's get a kicker. He's Indian. I want an Indian kicker. S -s -send, send the house on an Indian kicker. Week three of offseason recruiting. We're doing a lot of recruiting here. Jason Bass left end. That's what I'm talking about, guys. I'm, I'm rebuilding the defense, man. Markel Otis. I saw that we're lacking pass rushers. Soft ass defense, bro. Like, I'm, I'm sick of it. it. Makes me sick to my stomach. We get another QB here out of Arkansas, Oregon, and we win the right guard battle. We're getting a lot of three stars now. This is not what we were doing at the start. You know what I mean? We're getting four stars, three stars. Look at this. Look at this recruiting class right here. This might be my best recruiting class. Look at the focus on defensive players, guys. Look at this. There is so many defensive players. Corners, edge rushers, linebackers. We bring in 21, 20 players. But Tino, get that. Get Get, get, get out of here. We got 20 players into ULM. I like what we're doing here. All right. We got a nice quarterback. We have a star wide receiver heading into his senior year. We have an 80 overall team. Look at the team. 90 overall Brutus. He's our best player. My recruit is in his senior year. We got to get this guy drafted, man. I think this is going to be our first draft pick. If he has a good year, he should be our first draft pick. Dora, also our recruit. Redshirt senior. Junior quarterback, Brian Lieber. Tyree Biggs, the four-star sophomore right guard that we recruited. He is now an 84 in his sophomore year. That's big. Bakhtiari, this guy's been threatening me to transfer. He needs to screw. I don't want guys like that. Westbrook went up by a couple overalls. Steven Boyd not growing how I want him to grow. That's not good. I was expecting this guy to be up next. Renault not really growing how I want it either. Mafu Chen's a 78. Well, we have some depth, guys. We have some depth. Let's get into the next year, man. Let's upgrade the coach, though. Keep upping his recruiting, man. Look at me. I'm rounding out the recruiting here, guys. I'm really turning the corner here. I'm almost filled out on all my recruiting stats. I'm big into recruiting as we head into year five, man. Let's sim to next season. Let's go. All right. Year five. 2028 ULM. I have changed the offensive scheme of the team. All right, so you know what, we're replicating the Clemson air raid offense. I like what I see out of Clemson. We've already produced two Heisman quarterbacks, so I'm just gonna rock with that for a season. See how we do. We've only had four wins as our max win amount with the Auburn offense. You know what I mean? I've already gone ahead and done recruiting, so let me catch you up on what I've been doing. Obviously, we're setting the house towards all of these top guys. There's a guy named 2020 who's a six five wide receiver, all right? This guy's nasty. He's from Texas, apparently. I don't believe it. From the same place as Tua, you know what I'm saying? But we set the house towards him. So pretty much all the top guys are still trying to see if we can land our first five-star player. What I've pretty much been doing is, is I've just been going to my pipeline and seeing, like, who wants me. The top guys, I mean, most of them just don't want me, you know what I mean? After the first kind of, like, two weeks, you can tell... Like the top guys don't really want me based on just offering them a scholarship. So we'll add these guys as targets right now. We don't have any hours left to use on the actual offering them a scholarship and stuff. But let me take a look at the team schedule this year. Let's see who we got. Okay. So we have FCS Southeast. Got South Alabama early. Don't really see a tough team. Okay. We get Notre Dame, but that's later in the year. You know, we can get, you know, our games going. We can get our mojo, get our groove. And then we go into Notre Dame with a squad. You know what I mean? Because this is also our highest overall team that we've had. We're a one-star team now. Let's go. 82 overall offense, 82 overall defense. Let's take a look at the depth chart, man. I really think we could cross that four-win margin. We can get into five, six wins. If we can get that, I'd be really happy with the year. So obviously at QB, we have Brian Lieber, 84 overall QB right here. Hopefully the new scheme will help him out. Westbrook here at running back. Now Westbrook is a senior, but I think I want to start my boy Lamont. Brutus is our star wide receiver. Yes, sir. I thought he was 90 overall though. What the hell? Did he regress? What just happened? I've uh, redshirted some of the new freshmen that we recruited i just redshirted the most like the lowest overall ones chris swain is our tight end still left guard we got tyree biggs he's moving from right guard to left guard so we're playing him here center we still have dora and mafu chen as the backup i think i want to start mafu chen then instead and then at right guard let's see if we can play dora right here instead there you go 89 Otis here who's a redshirt freshman he tackles we have some 79s here you know what i'm saying and we got some linebackers now you know what i mean 83 overall here steven seven williams this is the guy that we recruited last year you know what i'm saying 53 overall still early for these guys the corners look really bad i don't know how our defense is 82 this year ben castaneda our four star strong safety should we start him no we're still gonna start our 73 overall we need wins this year man we need wins kicker we also have a freshman kicker that we recruited last year darnold and our punter's an 83 so we should be getting some good punts out of our punter this year week one can we start with a win can we start with a win 404 xp here and we're one and oh. 
Great start to the year. All right, let's sim to the first college football playoff poll here. Let's see if we can have a winning record for once, man. Please give me a winning record game. All right. Oh, oh, we've gone up. Oh, we're four and five. Let me see what's happening here. Oh, okay. So we lose out on the five stars. Goes to SMU. We get one verbal commitment here from Manu Puna. Oh, we get it. Okay, we get a commit. We get a left tackle. Definitely stepping up our recruiting game right here. Do we win? Do we win? Oh, four and six. Oh, we got Notre Dame. All right, can we upset them? Number one team in the nation can we pull off an upset 81 overall you all monroe can i think we could do it i low i feel it come on come on come on one game one game one game is all it takes one game one of these wins will turn the tide of the program i swear to god it will can we pull off an upset scoreless first quarter i love it i love it oh we are up 7-0 on the number one team in the nation we are up 7-3 ladies and gentlemen we are up 10-3 on the number one team in the nation oh my god we are winning at halftime against the number one team in the nation oh my god it is coming down to the end wait a minute okay we need to stop we need to stop has the defense improved I like the D-line's grit. We've improved our defensive line. We've improved the defense in general. Our weakness is still our secondary. But we need to make plays here. We need plays. Hand off. Come on. We got to clog the lanes. Clog the lanes. Get them down. All right. Fourth down. There you go. We force a punt. All right, Brian Lieber. This could be your draft moment, Brian Lieber. This could be it right here. This could change the entire program. Number one ranked Notre Dame against you. Oh, what a punt return. What a punt return. Oh, my God. Okay, we have a chance. Brian Lieber. Brian Lieber, air raid offense, Lieber. He tucks it in, he's running, slide. Okay, good first play, make him use our timeouts. Hey, hey, settle down, hey, so, hey, slow down. What, 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 why? What, what, oh, okay, all right, RPO, RPO, go. Oh, okay, Brian Lieber, a three touchdowns today. I don't know why we're going fast. This makes no sense. We're guaranteed to tie the game, but we want the lead. We're choosing to throw, why aren't we running the ball? No, Brian Lieber to the pylon, touchdown, ULF. Yeah! Oh, 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 we're stuck in the high stand? Oh my god! Upset! Upset! 31 to 27, they need a touchdown. Everyone get back. Oh, what is this? Special teams. Oh my god, they start on the 40. One minute and 12 seconds left. We're playing off. Everybody back. It's okay. It's okay. Just cover. Cover. Oh, where are you going? Oh, he dropped it. Did he drop it? No, he caught it. What the hell am I thinking? No, 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 no. First and 10. Notre Dame's past the 50 already. We're past the 50. No, check down. Tackle, 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 tackle. Good tackle. Second and 11. Come on. Who's gonna make a play for ULM? This could change the program forever. Get him down. Timeout. Okay, they used one. I need to stop, boys. Please, please. No. Where's he going? Get him down. This could be for game. Come on, ULM. One stop. Two upset. Number one, Notre Dame. Get him. Oh! Yes. 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 Victory formation. Chihuahua Piao Piao has defeated number one ranked Notre Dame. Mafu Chen, baby. Ryan Lieber, player of the game. I knew. I believed in you. Oh, my God. Junior quarterback. Wow. Wow, he struck the Heisman, too. He said, hold on. I need my Heisman. That's the game-winning touchdown run right there. Let's go. Oh, we upset Notre Dame at Notre Dame. We're in Notre Dame. I don't even know where Notre Dame is. Ryan Lieber, 321, three touchdowns. What about rushing? Do we run on the ground well? Oh my god, we were terrible on the ground. Jesus. Receiving who was catching balls? Oh, Ramon Fox, the three-star receiver we recruited last year. Making plays. Steven Boyd making plays. Brutus didn't have a big game. But it did not matter, man. What about defensively? Desmond Stevens leading the way. Eight solo tackles. I love it. Two sacks for Bertrovici. You feel me? Any picks? Ooh. Desmond Stevens with a pick too. Notre Dame's quarterback was number two on the Heisman Trophy watch too. We just put him down. Get out of here. What the hell is a Caleb Williams on Appalachian State? What is happening? Oh my God. What a game. What a game there. That was huge. That was actually a big win, man. Recruits are going to watch that game and they're going to commit. You know what I'm saying? Larry Rabin, welcome to the squad. He liked what he saw against Notre Dame. You know what I'm saying? And we're at the C in championship contender. Not the best year in terms of recruiting, I would say, because so far we've only had three three stars. You know, no four stars this this year unfortunately guys but there should be a lot of prospects that would want to come into ULM next year because they see that Notre Dame win. We get another commit here out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? In-state talent. Homegrown talent. Are we bullet? We'll take that all day. We lose. Oh, we're 
five and seven now. That's a tough loss, man. We just lost to Troy. We were like three and eight. You get another commitment here. Right tackle to Montre Haywood. We're touching on protection and offensive line. Yep, linebackers too. We're hitting the important positions. And you know what I mean? We're filling the gaps right now of our team. You know what I mean? We're really getting our recruiting together. I'm really liking this. All right, man. You know what? It's time to make some tough decisions. Listen, I think we got to fire some coaches. I, 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 I'm getting my knees up for this one. I'm sick of you guys. You know what I mean? Fire coach. Get him out of here. Fire Donovan Harper too. We need new coordinators, guys. It's it's the coordinator's fault. That's going to be available next week. I'm going to be holding some interviews. You know what I'm saying? We get a free safety commitment here. And the 2028 Heisman Trophy winner is Devin Wolf, a senior from App State. Okay, you see how teams like App State are starting to produce talent? You know what I mean? That gives me hope. That, you know, kind of helps me out here. Let's take a look at any coaches here that we can bring in as our OC. All right, let's take a look. The tactician. Okay. And he's an elite for recruiter as well all right let me take a look at this guy this guy is a motivator tactician recruiter chris wheeler is more of a recruiter man i think i might need a recruiter though. all right you know what we're gonna go with chris wheeler he's the recruiter right here we're gonna make an offer to him and for defensive coordinator this guy's a recruiter cody hardrick south florida yeah 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 we need we need him let's make an offer those are gonna be our two new coaches there they're low and level which i don't know if that has a huge impact on it or not at the same time we're chilling all right hold on let's take a look at the team schedule here of the season so we start out one and oh we lose by seven to south alabama we barely beat eastern michigan there we lose big to coastal carolina lose the southern mississippi beat texas state lose by two to our rivals bro we can't beat these guys pissing me off man we're like the clippers these guys are like the lakers man georgia southern we beat arkansas state we lose but we beat notre dame lose to troy of course but you can see the scores are getting closer we're getting better we're five and seven now five win team we're on the way i'm coming national championship oh my god notre dame's in the national championship we kill them we would kill them let me see did the staff accept my offer wait was this the guy i wanted i don't think this is the guy i wanted fetu alum all right okay all right w welcome he's a motivator yeah this is not the guy i wanted all right i guess the computer just did it for me maybe i made a mistake there but we got hard drink i know this is the guy i wanted because he's south florida but you know what it's okay this guy's pipelines arizona you know what i mean we can go out to arizona on the recruiting trips you know what i'm saying if it ain't snowing we ain't going you feel me if you know you know coaches can enjoy on some uh tourist attractions in arizona you know what i mean let me upgrade my coaching skills here let's dive into a new thing let's get into tactician you know what i mean let's start winning games let's start boosting the ratings you know what i mean let's start actually trying to win let's get the 500 all right there is progress happening at ulm ladies and gentlemen if you're still watching this point you should be very excited right right now because the national championships around the corner i swear to god it is. all right so this is our class this year a bunch of three stars we still haven't sent anyone to the draft i think brian lieber should get drafted i think that game against notre dame should at least put him on the board you know what i mean that should at least do something for him offseason recruiting here we get another right tackle getting better at recruiting guys i'm sorry if i'm you know don't seem like i'm the best this is my first time playing this mode like i said dynasty i've never played in my life final week of offseason recruiting we get a quarterback here here, Roberto Amano. We got a running back, Travis Ham. And so this is our year five group right here. We have a couple gems. Stefan Colbert has also signed with ULM as well. He's a gem quarterback. He might be next. Get another gem right here. Timote Guy. It's a run stopper. So he should help the interior out. We're bringing in 16 players. We also got a tight end gem here as well. Travis Ham is a gem too. So we're getting better at scouting, guys. Here we go. 2029. All right, year six. Take a look at the team here. Our best player is Brian Lieber this year. We have Otis as a sophomore at right end. That's going to help us. It's going to be our last year for our first ever recruiting class that we had. Time is flying by. Lieber, Renault, Mafu Chen is leaving. This is not our best team. I don't know how we're 82 overall, to be honest. This is kind of like a retooling year to get our recruits up to speed. I've done my recruiting here. We're, we're fighting for the five stars, but I don't think we'll get any of them. Also fighting for some four stars here at the bottom. I'll let you know if we get any big recruits. Let's go. Okay, we're nine weeks in. We're four and five. We're in. Jaden Rashid's top three. This is the number two player in the state, number 11 in the nation. All right, we're gonna send the house towards him. Come on, Rashad. This would be huge, man. Five star, that'd be our first five star player. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, I need to stop thinking about it. I'm getting hard. Oh, we're number one on this guy's list, too. Jimmy Lamb. All right, we're sending the house on all of these guys right here, man. Coward, Kevin Coward. Send the house. 
send the house. We need receivers, man. Our receiving core is weak right now. Jay Kite, send the house. Leva, send the house. Here we go. All right. We're going top heavy for this recruiting class right here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll look at the three stars later. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of recruiting three stars. I need four stars at the program. And we get a four-star wide receiver, Jimmy Lamb. What a beard, man. Four-star receiver out of Dallas, Texas. Okay. Howard commits to TCU. That's not the best. And we finish four and eight on the year. Ugh. Went down by a win. That's never good. Jimmy Rashad ends up going to Colorado. I lost to Deion Sanders. I finished second on his recruiting list. We're getting close to those five stars, though. I'm telling you guys, we're getting close. Caleb Williams wins 29th Heisman Trophy winner. What the hell, man? Guys, I, I don't know if I remember to show you guys the schedule or not, but we had a relatively easy schedule this year. Like, the only guys that we were had were the Louisiana Raging Cage, who's our rival, okay? Like, everyone else, how do we lose 58 to 0 to App State? I know they have Mr. Heisman, Caleb Williams, but how? I feel like I'm not making any progress, guys. I, man, I need some help, guys. Did anybody on our team get drafted? Oh my god, Brian Lieber, he went undrafted. I'm sorry, Brian. I failed you, buddy. We get a three-star right end and a three-star cornerback here. That's really, really good. Boost up the defense. Get a three-star free safety here, Lorenzo Sneed. I think I'm gonna end this season here. You guys gotta let me know what I'm doing wrong, man. Because I'm sending the house on a lot of these guys. I feel like I'm getting better at recruiting. Actually, I'm not really sure. And I don't know if I'm getting enough recruits every year. I'm getting about like 8 to 15, 8 to 16 recruits every year. Moses Cutler, welcome. Mo Adiyingbo, welcome. Christian Creech, welcome. Am I supposed to be playing them at my starting lineup to grow these guys? Because I feel like not only losing track of who I'm getting on the team, but I also feel like none of my guys are really growing that fast. So let me know in the comments down below. Should I be encouraging transfers too? Like, should I be telling them to hit the portal? And coaching skills, should I be upgrading these guys too? Or should I just leave them alone like, and keep upgrading my own? I have so many questions for you guys, man. I'm gonna upgrade this for now. I'm just upgrading O-line and QB because I really don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm supposed to be making more progress into 2030 is where I'm headed to. And plus, I've already been playing for like four hours, five hours now. So, oh, we're an 84 overall team this year though, apparently. So yeah, we're at preseason 2030. Please let me know also what I should be doing here prospect list. Should I be shooting for four star guys now? Three, four stars. I feel like all I've been getting are three stars and you know, I got one four star. So guys, please, if you guys play this game, man, give me as many tips and tricks as possible. Here's my roster right here to end off this episode. It's definitely gotten a lot better. Marquel Otis right here, a right end. He's playing well. Tyree Biggs, he's in his senior year already. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, you know, we're getting a lot of good players here. It's just that we can't seem to win that many games and can't seem to improve our star rating. So y'all let me know, man. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully we'll win a national championship in the next video.